Well, hello and welcome to Jonathan from the Heart. I'm Jonathan Asley of JonathanAsley.com, and I'm so excited to shoot this short video for you today. Our topic, make him choose you, make him choose you over his freedom. All right, really quickly, these are my weekend videos I shoot out on my balcony, very similar to the videos I shoot in my private group called Midlife Love Mastery. This is a group where you can uh, directly um, connect with me on a regular basis through our private Facebook group and through a webinar that I do each month where you can ask me questions directly. Check out the link below to my VIP group called Midlife Love Mastery. All right, we're going to talk about how him to make him choose you over his freedom. So what's interesting is um, I Googled... <laughs> Now I'm going to do it, have to do it again. I once Googled the definition of commitment. Have you ever done that? Do me a favor, right? Now put, put a pause on the video right now and Google uh, definition of commitment. So I'm going to do it right now with you. Definition of commitment. And the commitment says, um, not right to commitment, I would not commit. <laughs> um, a state or quality of being dedicated to a cause activity state or quality of being dedicated to a cause or activity but also commitment means an engagement or obligation that restricts freedom of action an engagement or obligation that restricts freedom of action so think about this the idea of commitment one is you're mutually engaged in this cause or activity oftentimes it's centered around raising children or buying property together or maybe it's a work environment where you, you share the same or it might be a charity type of thing where you share a same cause but also being in relationship can feel like a restriction from freedom so how does one choose to to really lean into commitment and that's what I want to explore with you today so I want to share with you, I'm, I'm, was watching a show on net or on Showtime called Couples Therapy. And it's about couples who are trying to work out their relationship. These are all married couples, I believe. Um, it's on and it's and it's done by hidden camera. So it's not a joke reality TV show like the Kardashians or something like that. This is well, at least that's what it is to me or The Bachelor or whatever. This is feels like real life. And when you hear the dynamics between the two, or between the couples, you can see that they're trying to work out their relationship, but there's friction going on. There's friction going on. And so I started to think, well, how do we, how do we remove the friction before it ever gets to friction? Because I want to share something else with you. I remembered um, I went through a divorce decade and a half ago it seemed or I forget how long ago it was and I remember going to family court and um, because our uh, case was later in the day I had to sit through so many other cases and I'm witnessing couples yelling and screaming each other and they're literally fighting tooth and nail and I'm thinking to myself gosh I mean this is what you know when you met, you fell happily in love, or at least you'd like to think you, you when not when exactly when you met, but when you got married, you'd like to think you were happily in love. And you'd want to be there for the rest of your life. You didn't want to escape from it. So what does it take to really build a juicy, delicious relationship? And that's what I want to lean into today. So if you follow my work, you know that I'm continual to say women are the emotional leaders of the relationship. Let me repeat that. Women are the emotional leaders of the relationship. We got to stop this whole nonsense that men are leaders of the relationship because the reality is that they do a relatively bad job of this. Why? Because of this, you know, this, this conflict of restriction of freedom versus being part of a cause, being part of a cause. Now, many of you know, I talk, I continually introduce books in my video because I'm a believer that you, you can get more value reading a book. I mean, yes, you're going to get value in this, but I encourage reading books because you can actually learn how to build the mechanics to a healthy, happy relationship. And so if you want to begin, okay, so the reason why I'm shooting this video is we talked about the divorce couples at family court. You don't want to be in that state. And you don't want to end up in couples therapy either. So how do we avoid it right from the get-go? It starts by understanding how real love happens, how real love happens with another human being. 
and I'm what I really highly encourage you to check out this book by Barbara DeAngelis called How to Make Love All the Time. How to Make Love All the Time. Make Love a light, Last of Lifetime. I'm, I'm encouraging you ladies to read this book so you can begin the foundation right from the very beginning of how to build a healthy, happy relationship. And now, I'm going to share with you. And by the way, the men you're... Oh, by the way, my t-shirt says... That's what I do. I drink and I know things. Does do do you know where this is from? If you do, please post a comment below. If you, I that's what I do. I drink and I know things. Who said it and what TV show is it from? All right. So why I'm encouraging this is because this whole notion. Yes, it's great to be with an alpha male that takes charge, who's charming and who romances you. Well, that's great, till he gets you in bed, and then once after sex. What are you really doing together? What are you doing together? Are you building a partnership together or are you just spending time together? And I'm here to encourage something deeper than just connection and sex. I'm here to encourage something much juicier in relationship. And this is why I'm a big proponent of reading this book by Gary Zukoff called Spiritual Partnership spiritual partnership. He wrote Seed of the Soul and oh my God, what a great book that is. But definitely check this out. And I'm, I'm saying this beyond because it's time to look beyond the surface when it comes to relationship because what's it going to take for a man to choose you over freedom is love. Being deliciously, you know, deliriously in love with you. And the biggest problem with experiencing that is most humans are suffering on the inside of, I'm not good enough, I'm not lovable, I'm not likable. And for many women, you, you have ex you, you've adopted this, I need you to love me for me to feel good about myself. This is why I'm such a big proponent of self-love in your life. And if you're not familiar with my book, if this is the first time you're watching one of my videos, please check out my book called What the Heck is Self-Love Anyway? What the Heck is Self-Love Anyway? This is a journey of personal development, self-help, and spiritual work to fortify your inside because whether or not he wants a fully committed relationship with you is irrelevant. What's most important is the relationship you have with yourself, with your sovereignty, with your self-worth, your self-esteem, your self-confidence. And my invitation is to build those roots so and then study the books that I mentioned in fact check out a number of my other videos I talk about a variety of different books and the reason being ladies and my audience is women but I'm I do get a lot of men who watch so I'm really grateful for that and they appreciate this conversation because it's time to look at the process as a two-lane street and sometimes you have to be the leader, emotional leader of the relationship by leading by example. That's, by the way, leading by example is another way of setting your standards. And by leading by example, you can differentiate between the many, who, many the men who are capable and ready, many re, men and ready, uh, capable and ready for a fully blown commitment and a juicy, delicious relationship. And I encourage, and by the way, one of the benefits of being in a relationship is you can work on your stuff together. Going back to the couples therapy, what I liked about some of the couples is they were working through their stuff together. And when you can work through your emotional stuff together, it builds a bond. And when you build a bond like this, you don't want freedom. You want connection. You want companionship. You want intimacy. You want deep roots in a relationship. And that's my invitation for you. Lead by example. And that way, he won't want his freedom. He'll want you instead. <laughs> All right, I hope you found value in this. I'd like to hear your thoughts. Please post a comment below if this resonated with you. If you have a question, please post it. Uh, again, if you like my work and you want to talk to me directly, check out the link to a free discovery call to see if working with a coach is right for you. All right, I'm going to wrap up this video as I always do. First off, giving myself a big, gigantic Jonathan Bear hug of self-love. I'm going to reach into the camera and give you a hug of love if that's okay. I'm going to ask you to turn to someone or a pet or a teddy bear and give it or them a hug of love because hugs are a great source of love and we can all use more love in our lives. Thanks a bunch. Bye-bye now.